Okay, I'm going to be coming in and out of the shot on this, but what I want to show you is um, I just got done um, making and using for the first time my star roller, which uh, that's in the previous video. But uh, what I want to show you is uh, I'm going to fill the cylinder, the, uh, the vessel, with this stuff. Uh, cowboy hardwood lump charcoal. Okay, everybody's going to give me a hard time about the uh, about the hardwood, but. Um, I've used everything from uh, uh, nutshells from Christmas to hardwood to pine and everything and I mean everything that I put in here has, uh, has produced a decent powder so far. So I'm not too worried about using willow or you know, aspen or cottonwood or any of those soft woods like that. So I'm just going to use whatever and because this was easy. And I bought it because I was at the uh, grocery store uh, getting charcoal for, for drilling. And I said, hey, I'll just buy some of that. And I seen it sitting there. I made it. And uh, every time I have a little campfire, I usually make some. But really, really small batches. And I don't have a, uh, a big one made yet. So so basically what I've got is, is uh, I filled this up with, uh, with charcoal. So we're going to go ahead and get that set on... On the, on the mill, which I think you can see right there. The only, th the only thing is it's at an angle, which will be fine because that means it will all run to the bottom. Um, and now what we're going to do is, uh, is we're going to fill up... Uh, sorry about the uh, camera work here. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to fill up the, uh, the star roller. And we got to find the... Oh, there they are. Okay, I'm using the peppercorns, and and again I'm using those because if you if you ever look at a peppercorn, they uh, they have a lot of texture on them, and, and I thought, geez, that'll probably be the ideal thing for uh, uh, for uh, for getting wet and, and starting to scoop up the 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 uh, meal. So I'm not making a lot of them. Let's get this thing on and see how it works. Well, with the uh, with the uh, mill on there with all that weight, but we'll we'll see. We'll keep playing with it. So let's uh, let's get these wet. Let's see if I can get this in here so you can see it. Here, sorry about the camera work. If I get to a chance, I'll edit it, edit some of this stuff out. Alright, so I sprayed the, uh, pretty quick you're already uh, you're already doing good so let's go ahead and add a little more all right and we'll uh, we'll keep going we're gonna make another batch now I'm gonna show you what I did with the last batch okay. see what's happening this is kind of coming up off there a little bit but still turning Might work. I don't know. We'll uh, see how it works out. All right. Let me show you what I did with the other batch. Um, this grill. Uh, regularly reaches about uh, 125 to 150 degrees just sitting in the sun so I've uh, 
or my smoker, so I opened up the, exa the exhaust and I opened up the air intake to get air transfer to go through there. And uh, I put the, the stars I just made in there to, uh, to dry out real well. The white chips are from the uh, paint can, still had a little chips, a little paint chips in there. But this will get those dry really good. Then I'll uh, I'll sort them all out. These big ones, I'm probably will never make a shell big enough to use those. So I don't know what to do with that one, but break it up and redo it. Okay, so another thing I got going on, I'm going to try here is the uh, um, instead of rice hulls. Uh, when I cut the grass, I just I got tons of this laying around, so I'm going to uh, dry this out as well. Give that a shot, mix that with the with the powder, and see if I can make a, a rice hull um, coated substitute. And then here, last night I I uh, I bought some ping pong balls, eight for a buck at the Dollar Tree. So um, I coated them with uh, with newspaper and wheat paste, or or we'll just call it paper mache, and um, and then. Uh, I was couldn't really get the paper off, and it was a little wet yet this morning. Couldn't really get the paper off that well, so I don't know if I'm going to maybe just use the plastic. They're cheap enough. Um, just drill a hole and, and put the stars in right in here. But I see my stars are a little little big for for what I made, but it'll still work, I'm sure. Sort out and just put the small ones in there. Um, but I also made a much larger one. This is about two and a half inch. So this is out of a plastic baseball. So anyway, this is uh, um, this is my first go trying to put it all together and try to use what I have laying around the house rather than buying everything. So I'm kind of a DIY guy. You all know that. All right. So if you have any questions, shoot me a holler. Shoot or holler at me and. Uh, I'm going to keep working on this today and see how many stars I can get made. I think the, the next ones I'm going to uh, make a lot smaller so that I don't uh, I don't have to sort so many out. And I just want to make small ones for now. I don't want to uh, I don't want to uh, start out making three inch mortar shells because I'm going to have an issue trying to find a place to blow them off and test them anyway. So. Alright, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Uh, shoot me a comment. Let me know what you think about this whole setup. Alright, take it easy.